Okay, so you're ancient, I guess. Uh, I want to try to. Four. That's good. Uh, I'll try to be like BSJ here and kind of ask you uh, what you think you're doing uh, well on the hero and what you think you would want to improve on. Maybe we. I'm I'm practice practicing right now with all things heroes. Okay. My my base hero is Pangolier right now, so I want to improve in the lane, in the mid game. Oh, uh, I know, something like that. Okay. Uh, what about kind of your the thing stopping you from getting higher MMR? What do you think would be your uh, the blocking point between you and like 5K? Um, maybe the teammates. <laughs> They're so <laughs> yeah, man. Or some shit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's like it's like you are playing very well in your lane. But the teammates are so awful. I, yeah, I, I know what you mean, I man. Know. I know what you mean. If I had better teammates, I'd be I'd be nine k by now. Yeah, that's my okay my deadline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna watch this lane for a bit. So it looks like you have a Ricky. Uh, it's not really the best lane partner. Um, you're definitely playing the lane well. I like how you pulled the wave back here. You got the range creep last hit, which was good. Um, one thing I might do here is you should watch for when your support is getting right clicked because this kind of allows you to get free right clicks in. Just, just something important, because um, you'll notice later on this Ricky's uh -huh. gonna get God on, and you can kind of just get free right clicks off. You might have been able to kill a CM. Uh, you'll see it in a bit. Um, yeah. uh, so like right here, like I, so you pull the wave back. This is good. Like it's gonna be farming here, and this CM is kind of out of position. Uh, like right here, I would just walked over and fucking right click this guy. You start right clicking him now, he's got one armor, he might die. I I'm not 100% certain, but there's no way you like run back here. Uh, I guess you might think that they're gonna stun you and they might go on you, but uh... Uh huh. Yeah, I think I <laughs> if you just right click this guy, he might get close to dying. Um, but yeah, you kinda just yeah, run back. That's, uh, that's fine though. It's like, in that moment, uh, I was waiting my, my turn to heal. Yeah. Because we, the first is it's not... Yeah, for sure, for sure. Not... Yeah, you, I mean, you, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were also level 1 uh, when that play happened, so... I don't know. You you could've... Yeah, one thing that I think separates really, like, decent players from being really, really good is kind of how much pressure you put on the lane. Like, how you, uh... When you right-click somebody or when you feel like you can walk up and man up to them, um, I think that's something really important. So, you kind of do that really well, but that was just one instance where if you did that, maybe... You, he would have been low health. Like, he could have definitely got free right clicks off as well. I do like how you play the lane, though. Uh, you pull the wave back, you recognize that Wraith King's a stronger hero. Um, yeah. It's this... like, I have a problem when I I play Pangolier, but just me in the lane, you know? Yeah. So, they wreck me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if this CM actually skills Crystal Nova, you'd be having a way worse time, that's for sure. Um, if he actually came to the lane with like a lot of mangoes and clarities and he actually just spammed Crystal Nova on you, it would be really, really bad. Um, and you would feel the. You would feel really bad because you have a Ricky pause for. But yeah, you're playing this really well. You're pulling this lane well. Um, again, if this player was better, he'd probably hit you with more spells to make you burn more tangos, but you're definitely playing well. Yeah, uh, I think so because the Ricky was like. <laughs> uh, Going back, and I don't know, just silence and stay, stay by me. Yeah, yeah. Like that was a that was a good cue there. Um, hey, you're I well. use my cue to last hit the range creep. Yeah, yeah, for sometimes. sure. Yeah, this lane's going really well. Like this is definitely how I would be playing this lane. Um, I would have, I would have a Ricky pause for, so that kind of limits what you can do. I like this Javelin purchase. So what I would have done here, this is something that I see a lot of people don't do on this hero. So I think you have a fair amount of regen. I think you're fine. But uh -huh. what I might have done is I might have also ferried an extra Mango and a Tango. Just because I know that I'm going to need the regen in the lane. Again, this CM's not really using his spells as much as I think he should. But the fact that you, like, just flew past 1100 gold, and you just had, like, an extra 200 gold, and if you're literally farming under tower, <laughs> you have so much gold here... I would definitely just yeah. like leave the courier on base and be like, okay, well, can I just actually also buy a stick here? I would 100% be buying like a clarity and then a little more regen because you're gonna end up using the stick 
if you use a stick and you tango, you might be like 400 health. You would go to full immediately. Like, and then you're just sitting here with a salve, and then if you had like some extra tangos, it would make harassing a lot easier. Because what's going to happen is when you're going to get this tango, like what really stops Pangaleers from putting more pressure on the lane is just what you have in the back, right? Like if you just don't have the, the supplies, like yeah. if you just have more supplies than you right now. So you could have sticked earlier, by the way. And then you would have had full mana, full health going to this. Your courier had already came with your javelin. Um, but you would have had like more more stuff in the end as well. So then you wouldn't be worried about spamming your spells. Um, anyways, this is a this is a good fight. Like here, here I would make sure I just double Q both of them. Like if I I just got my javelin, I would definitely do that. What does it send for you? Oh. It's it's like I I don't know what time is good to get the javelin. You hit a really good javelin timing. Yeah. Yeah, you did. It was great. Um, but then you come to the lane and you're just like not using your like you should just be fucking queuing them Like I would have hit like a fucking W queue like right here I would have hit them both right now. Just fuck them up You did but you only hit one of them So I would have just gone for both of them like in a line. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, so if you just hit both of them there then that would have been nicer But you hit one of them. That's good. So you kind of recognize how much power you have in this lane This guy yeah. isn't buying any regen. He's a he's being a noob and so you just power him down with your mangoes and you just shit on him real hard. That's that's what I would recommend. It's like I I'm, I was just spamming my Q every time I can. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You just got to make sure that you... um. So, like, it, one thing that you're kind of going to be wondering is, like, when is the best time to use my Q? Like, you don't... I think the best way to use your Q on Pangolier is if you have... Like, say you're just free farming bottom. If there's waves... I think you definitely want to just make sure you can queue like as much as possible, but also like to make sure you kill the wave as well. It's kind of important and like get harassed on enemies. Well, okay. no, no, don't don't queue as much as possible, but it's it's hard to describe. <laughs> it's hard to describe when to use your queue, but like yeah. uh, like I would use it right now to be honest. If I could hit both of these targets, I'd probably use it. I use it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that also has to do with how much mana you have. So you don't really have that much mana in your backpack, so it's definitely good to um, yeah. not use it. That's definitely reasonable. You stack here, this is good, or it's a pull, actually. That's good as well. Yeah. Some stuff happening. What time is good to, what time is good to, to pull, you know? Um, when you should lane. pull in a lane? Yeah. Uh, probably when your waves really push like this. One moment, one moment is, yeah. Like, this is definitely a good pull. The thing is, is that I kind of wonder if you... Like, this is a good pull, but you also could have just, like, hit him with a Q under tower. Maybe cleared this whole wave, and then maybe checked on your team. Uh, that, that's one thing you can do. You have, like, uh, a lot of options on this hero as soon as you get your javelin. And that you can just clear the entire wave. And you can just do whatever you want. Like, you could clear this wave, you could, like, catch the next wave. You could check what's going on over here. And you just have so many options on the hero. So that's, mm -hmm. that's something you could do. Like that, that pull was good to pull back the wave. Uh, I'm not yeah. like it, but again, if you just have more regen right now, you can kind of like make these trades where you trade mana for the wave, and you trade like you can let them stun you, and you'll just heal up. There's a lot of so, shit happening. So, it, yeah, it's good to raise more parities. Yep. Yeah, for sure. So like right now, you're probably gonna go to the shrine, but I think that just faring yourself more regen in general just makes you better off. Uh, is something I would have done. You have one job to do, I'm gonna try to speed through this a bit more. I think this game was this game was an hour, so <laughs> we're just gonna move on a bit more. I'll try to point things out when I see them. It's fine if you speed up, so yeah, for sure. Okay, so this is one one thing actually. So I do recognize this was a free kill, but yeah. I might have, to be, to be honest, I might have kept rolling. Like, I might have, I might have rolled off this wall. Like, I might have hit him and then hit this wall and then bounce back and try to hit him again, just because there's a small chance that I can also hit the CM, and then there is, there's all of a sudden there's a chance of a double kill. Uh, just, just my thinking, because you you are very ahead in this lane and you should know that because you're sitting in this lane, you're level six, they're they're both level five. Uh, I'm I might have just thought about that a little bit. Like, I definitely love this play, but you could have, like, kept rolling, maybe seen the CM, hit this Double wall, kill? yeah, and then maybe hit back and hit the Wraith King again. I see a lot of uh, Pangos end their ulti prematurely, when there's, like, a clear thing you could bounce off of, so I oh. do think that 
you should be a little bit more aware in the future of maybe, oh, should I keep my ulti going here, or maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should stop it, like, earlier. That's definitely something that a lot of people, uh, mess up on. I, that, that play was fine, though. I just think you could've probably kept oh, going. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, again, I like this arcane boot purchase. I think running home is fine here. So again, teaming back to lane here, I would've just bought, like, I would've bought two clarities here. I, I think there's no reason why you wouldn't buy two clarities here. Um, two clarities? Yep. Yeah, you just have 100 extra gold in the bank after you bought your arcane boots. Uh, I would've just bought clarities. Okay. Um, so if you look just, at... Just after my arcane boots, uh, it's good to buy clarities, okay? Or... Um, yeah, so I think at all points in the game, actually, when you have extra gold, I think buying clarities is really important. So there's a guide that I released in game that kind of <laughs> kind of shows how much I prioritize clarities. In that in the early game, uh, I, yeah, I, I have that that guide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see you can see how the guide is just littered with clarities. You know, like at every point in yeah. the game, there's always clarities. And if you watch the stream, you'll know that I constantly ferry myself clarities. If you ever have extra money after you buy a javelin or anything else, clarities are really nice. Um, and, and you know, right. like you know why. If you just watch the stream as well, you can just kill waves and you just clarity up because you you do use a lot of mana. Um, I do like yeah. your again. Your skill build is perfect. Your your build is perfect. Just like if you buy a little bit more clarities, like a bit of more consumables, I think that would you'd be better off overall. Okay, so you see two guys here. I might just queue them both, uh, just for some harass. Then the I next know time you're... that Ricky was there. Yeah. So I might angle your queue a bit more. Maybe try to hit them both, but that's that's about it. I think this play is fine. Clearing the wave is fine. Um, but yeah, just if they get slightly lower health, you can kind of see more kill opportunities arise as well. Okay, let's skip through a bit. A lot of heroes bottom right now. I would probably queue this next wave. Okay, so that was just a bad queue. Um, so you have three heroes bottom, right? You're going to want to push this tower 100%. If you're going to like land a swashbuckle on this Earthshaker, you should definitely just hit the wave as well, you know? Because you're going to want to push the wave, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then you're gonna want to take the tower because you just have three heroes here as well. Um, this roll is fine. Oh, for kill. Yep, this is good. Oh, you messed uh, up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, it's fine. You know where you messed up. That, otherwise, otherwise that was a good play. Okay, let's just move on. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking on the map to see if you saw anything. I think this TP was fine. Uh, if you look middle, looks like there's something going on there. I like pushing out this wave, and then I would probably look at what's going on over there. You do. This is yeah. good. You run over. This looks good. You had a really nice Q. I would have started rolling immediately after I landed my Q. Okay, you take a little detour there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is fine. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. So what I would have done, what I would have done, this play was perfectly great. I love this Q. This is the perfect Q. Then you turn around like nah. a bitch, man. Just, just fucking press R. <laughs> okay. So right here, just press R. Just Whoa. roll, okay? I don't know if this guy has his spells up. Okay, they don't even have their spells up. But, like, even if they did, I wouldn't be worried about it. So, like, worst case, you get stunned by Wraith King, and you get stunned by Zeus. Those are the only two stuns they have. It'll cancel your roll. You're gonna be fine. You're full health Pangler. You just landed a sick Q. Um, all you have to do is just keep keep going, and if you just press yeah, you press R here, and then you just own them. You did get stunned here, so yeah. you would have your R would have got canceled, but it's fine. Some weird I stuff happens here. Lightning bolt. Yeah. In that moment. This looks fine. Oh, is this your camera? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on with your camera here? This is your perspective. <laughs> okay, you die yeah. there. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, am I watching? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. You are watching that. Wait. Yeah. Me. Wrong perspective. <laughs> okay, so TP bottom. I think this TP is fine. I think I might have looked mid to see if there was like a need for me to TP mid. Maybe there's like a fight happening. Um, I always look at Puck, and I think if Puck has coil there's generally a really good opportunity for a kill. 
So I might have looked mid a bit more before TPing, or kind of walked bottom. There's kind of two options. You really have, you walk to bottom, you walk to mid, you TP bottom, you TP mid, or you just wait in base. And you kind of see, okay, well, it looks like something's happening mid. Maybe I should just kind of, like, sit in base and, like, see if I should TP or not, or start walking bottom, and then maybe I'll TP. Kind of two options you have. Because, uh, again, you're playing with ancient players, right? You say your teammates are bad, so kind of just assume they're bad. Right, and just give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, maybe these dumbasses are gonna start a fight here, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. you might, because because as you can see, that does happen. And then, um, I don't know. I guess if you were there, maybe you would have said puck coil. Maybe you can go in. Um, but they're really they're really farther leveled than you. Like they're they're really over leveled. Uh, might have been a hard kill. Yeah, in many games, I it's kind of to it's like I rotate to all the lanes. Yeah. Because they they lost lane or something like this. Yeah. Pretty shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's rough. And I guess some stuff happening top, like this orange player top. I don't know what that guy's doing, but uh, I think it's probably worth like looking at what he's doing. Um, even though you don't have a TP, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I like this. I like pushing out this wave. I would catch the next wave right now, which you do, which is good. When I have my TP without yep. cooldown, uh, I look the map or, or something. Yeah, that's good. So when you're, yeah, I mean, yeah, you should definitely look around the map. Uh, I think even when your TP is not off cooldown, I think it's generally important to see what's going on on the map. Uh, okay. But yeah. I like this roll. So. Um. I'm. Hmm. That was bad. <laughs> like you know where the Zeus is. Hold on, let me just. Okay, this is kind of bugged. But uh, how much longer did you have on your ult? I'm trying to check. Okay, you kind of know the Zeus is here. I don't know. You just have to land your spell yeah. better. That's all. That's not really a thing I can plan. Um, I can't really see how long is left on your ulti because there's a bug. Yeah, but I would I might have queued from further away. That that's the only real thing I can say there. You might have lived if you queued further away, but in the end they have all their heroes there. Um, one other side note is you can queue all the way across this wall actually. So if your queue's up, the just walk. Side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can queue all the way to the other side. So um, yeah, if you just walk to here, you see where my cursor is. Yeah. You can walk to here and just queue all the way across. So uh. Right here, perfect position. Just yeah. queue all the way across. That's all it is. Um, it is kind of hard though. It is kind of max range. Uh, it, like it's definitely difficult. You'll see players mess it up, but you can queue all the way across. Like that was the shortest queue you could possibly do. Yeah, and, uh, that was bad. Yeah, but anyways. That was a mistake. Oh. I like that queue away. That was good. I like this roll as well. Okay, you have to... Okay, so... <laughs> some of this comes to be kind of awareness. Like, what I would have done here... Like, I'll kind of just tell you what I would have done because I think it's generally the right play. Or what I think the right play was. This was perfect. I love the Q away. I love the roll here. Now, it's just recognizing... Do you need to hit, go back and hit this guy again? Okay. And I think the answer is no. You just have a Spectre TP here. You have your whole team here to kill this, uh, this uh, Earthshaker. And then it's kind of about looking yeah. at your map. Like, oh, there's this other guy running away. I have a puck over here. So, instead of cool. yeah, instead of hitting him once, from here, I would have just pressed W, gone over this wall, and continued chasing this guy, you know? Because instead, you bounce yeah. off this wall, you kind of go on some weird path. You do kind of make it over eventually, but, like, I wouldn't have even hit this wall. Too late. Yeah. Like, yeah. you do, you should kill him as well. Like, it's not going to matter that much. But, yeah. Because you kind of don't realize that this guy's going to die until you hit this wall. But yeah, this is still good. I like this play. I love the clarity purchase. <laughs> I like the clarities. This is good. <laughs> um, it's like your puck just smoked on his own to get the runes. Okay. Diffuser Blade was a good item in that moment, or...? 
Oh, I think if you can, I think you can go to fuse this game. I do think that this is kind of insane. Uh, you definitely have to rule here if you're gonna try to make this play and go on this guy. I'm gonna. So when you do this play, I'm gonna assume that you ha should have teammates besi beside you when you do this play. I think this play is bad unless you have teammates beside you. Um, also, you can't you can't W like that. So as soon as you land your spell, this is good. You kind of have two options here. Either you channel your ulti and you continue chasing this guy, or you run away. And you kind of acknowledge, okay, I'm not really going to kill this guy. So, like, say your puck's close by. Maybe you can be like, oh, maybe puck will come over and we can get this kill. You d you're you're unaware their entire team is behind him. Obviously, you're unaware of that. Uh, pressing W here is, is very incorrect. Because if you get in W range, and this guy's, like, in melee range of you, he's just going to press all his spells and you're probably going to die. Which is what happens. Yeah. So, like, as soon as you're in a melee range, you immediately lose the option to Rolling Thunder. Because then, all of a sudden, he can just continuously stun you. So you're going to see what happens here. As you walk in, you just get stunned. And then he has a team behind him with follow-up stuns. Like, even if you W here and he doesn't have a team, the odds you get a Rolling Thunder off, like, sh with with a like a quick Rolling Thunder off, is very low. He's just got so many spells. Like, you do have a Lich here, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, your team goes in with some kills, yeah. <laughs> some buybacks. Some buybacks is so random. <laughs> yeah. I like this TB bot. I love pushing out waves. Here, your defusal. Pretty good defusal timing. I generally think that if I can get a defusal at 20 minutes and I have all these items, I think I'm doing really well. So you're like a minute and a half a, a little late, but um, that's like if you're having a good game. If you're having a really good game, 20 minute or 19 minute defusal with like all these items is really, really good. Just if you're curious about the timings of items. Um, yeah. Um, okay. This is fine, kind of. Yeah. You do live here. Okay. <laughs> okay, this goes well. <laughs> I was gonna say you should be a bit more careful uh, with how so deep greedy. you go. Yeah, some of this is a bit greedy. Like, like if you mess up your roll and you like don't hit the right target a bunch of times, sometimes it might be like good to throw in the towel. You know, just be like, all right, they got away from me here. Like, I definitely love the uh, like you think about it and you're like, oh, maybe I should go back in with my W. You land your W. Um, I don't. Know, a lot of this is really. It's really over the top. Like, they can TP their heroes in. You're kind of here for a really long period of time. Um, the escape is good. Yeah. So, again, I wouldn't have auto-attacked there. I would have immediately got out. So what you can do is, if you're stunned, you can you can queue up your swashbuckle. So as soon as you break out a stun, you swashbuckle out. So that would have let you take, like, one or two less auto-attacks there. Um, it might have saved your life. But that's just something that would have helped you there. Okay. Nice. Expect to get some kills. Go ahead a bit. This top TP is good. In one moment, is good to buy great. Uh, so I currently don't buy Greaves at all, just by the way. Uh, I think that they're not good. I think they're too overpriced. They did get nerfed a lot as well. And I just think there are better items that you could buy instead. I think that if you play well, like, what what would you, like, I wouldn't say this is a Greaves game. You really only have a route to get out of and a, and a Venom Mancer ulti. I would probably buy BKB this game, to be honest, looking at their team. Um, because it would enable me to queue into fights, deal a lot of damage with my Diffusal slash Basher slash whatever other items I buy in the game. Uh... And then you could BKB. And then you'd immediately be able to always get your ulti off after landing a Q, which I think is really nice. Um, and you would have a better fight overall, because you'd have 10 seconds of immunity. So, I might, uh, anyways, looking back at what's going on, I might have probably cleared this wave. Um, so you see the wave here, you clear it. Um, you should know that when your creeps are here, uh, hold on, can I ping? If your creeps are here, then the enemy creeps are going to be here. So, 
after you yeah. kill this wave, I would definitely have killed this next wave. It's really fast for you to kill waves, and it'll it'll work out like in the long run. This is really good for your team if you're able to push out this wave before you run to this fight, whether it's a fight or not. This wave is really nice to push out. So I guess your spell wasn't really up. You could have just W'd and killed it, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I was going to to bottom. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so I see this bottom fight. Um, I like how you don't just run in. This is good. You don't really have vision on the map. It's kind of hard to play. Okay, I might have ran in a bit differently. But let's just watch how this plays out. So this thing you can bounce off of is really, is really nice to bounce off of. This wall here. I might have W'd into them to get more uh, shield crash ch charges. Because you're really not getting away unless you swashbuckle out. And you do die here. Uh, yeah. One thing I'd recommend real quick. Um, I don't like how you ran out around. Like, your puck jaunts in with an orb. Your puck jaunts in with an orb, like, right here. I would've just taken the shortest route. I would've just went, like, from here. I would've just went from here all the way down. Like you're kinda doing. Um, I guess you didn't really know your Spectre was gonna ulti. But, uh, I would've liked the shortest path. Uh, then you Q in, and then you press ulti, and you're good. You're a bit far away now. Um, before you Q and ulti. Um, I mean, this this works out though. Like again, this was a good fight. Uh, I would be pressing W more, like a lot more. You're not not pressing W near anywhere near enough for having the talent. Like you pressed it once that entire fight. Uh, so again, just just remember to press your W more. Bounce off this thing. This is a really nice piece of uh, like diamond or shard on the floor that nobody really uses, uh, and I think that would have helped you a lot. I uh, press W, bounce off this. As you bounce off it, press W again. Like, as long as you're hitting one person with your W, it's generally a good W in the team fights. Okay. Nice. So, just like even pressing W there, you should have just pressed a lot more Ws, is all. Like, I, I don't want to review every single one of these plays, but... Let's see, roll here. Hit him, press W immediately, and then you bounce off this wall. And then you press W immediately, and you bounce off this wall. Press W, woo! And then you land and hit both of them, and then you have, like, three charges. Your damage reduction per hero is, like, 15%. It's 18%. You hit, like, three heroes, and then all of a sudden you don't die here. And you're able to survive until your swash is up, and then you just, you just get away. So that's again. That's just your. You just you learn more as you play the hero, and I think you definitely need to add more uh, into your playstyle. Just spam um, W W in. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, you're gonna, yeah, that was a good W here. Like, you're gonna hit this Wraith King 100%, so you just press W. That's just kind of... So yeah, me personally, I probably would have gone eggs here. Or I probably would have PKB here. And then whichever one I didn't buy, I would have bought the next one after. Uh, just because I'm not a fan of Greaves is all. Uh, I don't think the item's that great. Yeah, it's like I have uh, mis I have mistakes to buy Mechans or BKB or something. Yeah. Something like this. Sorry, you have what? No. that That's my... My mistake to to buy grapes or not. Yeah, uh, like you could have just full bought a BKB. You're you're the richest person in this game. You can definitely carry this game as well. The fact you have a a Spectre, um, and he's farmed. Like this game is this game is gonna be really good for you. Uh, and then the BKB yeah. would have made it a lot better because you kind of again I think this Guardian Graves is kind of like a gold sink. Uh, I'm a little bit biased, but I do think the item just isn't as good 
uh, currently as well. Okay, that was a nice fight. Again, just different walls to bounce off of. I'd probably have to bounce off different walls uh, as well. Like, I would have probably gone off of, uh... Like, after you collide with him here, I might have gone to, like, this wall here. Or some wall. Usually I would go to a wall. Like, I would bounce off this wall. Um, the only times I would really do circles, like you kind of did, is if I'm, like, trying to kill somebody in a lane here. Where after I hit this guy, I don't really have anywhere to go, so I kind of just go into the bushes and I come out and I make sure I can hit, like, one more time before I go into a queue. But, uh, overall that mm -hmm. fight was fine. Okay. Again, I'm shitting on the Greaves a lot, but maybe it's not that bad. Like, you have a Spectre. Spectre definitely benefits from Greaves. Um, and your team doesn't really have that much sustain. You have a support Ricky who's got a Midas defusal. Um, it's... Yeah. It works. I don't know how bad it works. You have what, sir? The Ricky defusal in Midas. Yeah. It works. Yeah. I don't know how bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so this looks good. I would charge in my ulti here. Nice. So then, like, even there, press W before you hit the CM. The C you're gonna hit the CM 100% no matter what, so just press your W. And then you just kill him even faster. I like your W there. I would've gone for the Zeus. But you go back, this is still good. Probably queue away here. Okay, I might have queued further away because you're gonna get that kill no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, it's just your max range cues. You just have to look at a bit more. Um, there's a lot of things like this guy's gonna die no matter what to one more queue. So it's just like just queue from like here, <laughs> you know. And then like all of a sudden your next queue up, I would queue from like over here. It's just like just a small thing where you should just abuse the fact that your queue has a really long range. Uh, I think it might help you out a bit. Okay, so I like that Q into Roche. There's a bug here with... I like these Qs. Uh, I kind of prefer rolling immediately after I Q, just so I get more out of my roll. Uh, it's like I'm already closer to my enemy as soon as I roll. Uh, that was a bad Q. Yeah, it's okay. You're, you're gonna be okay here. Again, I, again, I would have done more shield crashes in the pit as well to hit the Wraith King for more damage. Look at your mana pool. So when I play Pango and I have like these items, after I ulti, my mana pool would be like really low, like 500 mana or something, because I would have pressed shield crash like five more times while I'm rolling. Um, okay. So yeah. Nice. I gotta speed through this. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Like, I would have just queued up ulti there, to be honest. Like, after I hit him like that with both of my, my Q and my W, I would just queued up ulti. He would have died 100% if I queued up my ulti. So, I for pack. Oh, I guess your team's dead, actually. I didn't see that. <laughs> your team's yeah, dead. Yeah. That was good not to go on that. <laughs> um, so waiting for Riki to spawn. This is good. Um, I definitely think that your your main way to win these fights is your Puck presses Dream Coil, and then you go in with your Rolling Thunder, and you're spamming W while you're in Rolling Thunder, and Spectre alts. That's like, that's like the freest fight that you'll ever get, is if your puck lands, but it starts with a good coil from your puck. Uh, I, that might not happen, but just just letting you know if you if you do play with like five players and you're like, what's our win condition? Um, puck yeah, landing coil, play. yeah, yeah, the coil will be really nice. So 
say, your team doesn't really have anybody warding the map, eh? Who's got the wards? Is it a bug? Yeah. <laughs> Who's, where's your wards? Is there a bug? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? There's not in the shop. Okay, whatever. You, you flag. <laughs> what? I don't know. I, I'm asking the same question. I'm like, I'm trying to like think about how what plays I would make right now, and you just don't have any wards. Okay, so your Spectre haunted for an Earthshaker. I don't know about that. This this is perfect. I love this ulti. This is what I want you to do every time. I love these press Q and then charge up your ulti immediately after. This is really nice. Like you land a sick two man Q, you just charge up your ulti, and then you press W. Okay, I would have pressed W there. Um like you charge up your ulti, you press W, you fly and you like land on them and you get like the W damage, you get the the, the rolling damage. You're really good. You still press W here though, this is nice. You hit them here, you press W, this is good. Press W one more time. Nice. Yeah. I don't know how much health that CM had. I guess it was kind of risky to keep going. Uh, okay. I guess this fight's going well. Uh... Spectre doesn't really have much health to work with here. I like that Q. I like that W. That was good. And I probably would have W'd like earlier, but it's still good. I got a boost right there. <laughs> nice. Press Greaves. And I am dead. Oh. Yeah, oh, you're man. dead. <laughs> oh shit. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh shit, you're alive. He's like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you mauled? Yeah, hit him with the hit him with the insults. Okay, that fight could have gone a little bit better. Um, that's that just comes down to pushing high ground though, and then the elo you're in, people don't really know what time is right to push high ground, and I think that you guys definitely could have backed a bit sooner and avoided fighting like that. Uh, but the fight wasn't that bad. Good. This is a good Roche. I love this Roche. With a ward. This is a great pickoff. You guys probably should win the game off this push now. Uh, barring some insane circumstances where you dive really hard. This is fine. You're hitting tower. Yeah, it's fine because I have my world in Thunder and yep. wait, so. This looks good. I love the W usage. I think you could have rolled a bit longer there. Now you're going to die. Oh, you have Aegis. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't notice that. I thought Spectre would have had Aegis, but... Interesting. Okay, so I can see TP home here. Okay. So you have enough health. Hmm. Interesting. I probably wouldn't have had Aegis on my hero. I probably would have given it to Spectre. I guess Spectre didn't want it, I'm not sure. Like, you are, like, one of the strongest heroes on the map, but... Level 25 Spectre pushing a tower is something very hard to contest. So, I kind of wonder if that was correct by your team. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. I guess we're gonna go back. That was... Yeah, I took the... The mortality because... It's like... Uh, I went diving the map with my Welling Thunder. Yeah. So. That's fine. That's fine overall. Yeah. So now you have all your ultis. Spectre has Haunt. You probably just Q in and roll here. When you get a nice uh, opportunity to. Nice. Okay, so okay, some of this is being more accurate with your rolls. So again, like just stuff you can bounce off of. So if I rolled from, I'll have to put this down so I can ping. If I rolled from here and I was like hitting people, I would definitely just bounce off this wall. I would press my Ws in a way that, so I would just press W now, and then I would bounce off this wall 100%. I would like go around like this, hit this wall. Uh, you're supposed okay. to be rolling right now. 
Because then if you hit this wall, then you bounce off this wall, you land a W, and you hit this guy immediately. And it's a shit ton of damage. Oh, just something small. Because uh -oh. you notice a lot of the game you kind of roll around in circles and you're like, oh man, if I could have cut this corner a little bit tighter, I would have hit him. But ultimately, you should just be bouncing off things a bit more. Uh, it's the better play overall. You do die here, which kind of sucks. Yeah. I do think your team wins overall. You do have a better team composition against them. You have Megas. Uh, this game is kind of over, but um. Uh, I'm sure you guys just buy back and win now. Yeah. yeah. They are all dead. <laughs> okay. Real quick. Let me show you something. Okay. I guess you guys feed one more time and then you try again. <laughs> and that's when the game wins. Okay, okay. Uh, just something real quick I'm going to show you. So, say there's a... So there's a guy here, uh, okay. and I'm rolling. I want to hit him with my W like this, and then I bounce off this wall, and I hit him again like that. I don't know if you've seen me do this before, but this yeah. is this is really nice to do. What I'll do most of the time in these fights, where say this is an enemy and he's like on the high ground or something, I can't really move him, but pretend he's on the high ground. So I would Q in, like picture. Uh, here, I'll try to show you what I'm trying to do. Picture this is the enemy tower, and like this is their. Okay. Their racks are here or something. Remember when that guy was like in front of his tower and you like queued up on the high ground like of the racks tower and you started rolling? You kind of waited a second to press your W. I, again, most of the time I'm a fan of Wing immediately. Um, also, pressing W when you bounce off walls is really good for me, in my opinion. Because you, if the guy's not moving and he's just standing here, uh, yeah, that's generally... Okay. Yeah. Just just pressing just W more. Stand, the W in World Thunder as much as can. Yeah, it's it's just like optimizing your W. Like I don't again, if it, it's all pointless if you just go in circles. Like if you just go like this <laughs> and you're just like missing him and he's right here and you're just pressing W, you look like a real idiot, okay? So you have to kind of combine. <laughs> I think the optimal way to play this here is to combine bouncing off walls with pressing your W correctly. That's the best way in my mind to land your Ws. Okay, that was really weird, but um yeah. Yeah. It's like you hit, bounce off, pick a wall, press W as soon as you bounce off the wall, pick a wall. Bounce off W, pick a wall. You know, stuff like that. Sorry, we're not going to get to your next replay, so I hope this was the good one. Um. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's like I want some tips or something. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any more questions for me, I guess? I hope you learned some stuff. Uh, I think that that's it. It's it's like I uh, I know the how to use my world in Thunder now. So that would you and that would you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know. All right, cool. Well, uh, it's it's like uh, can I add you or something like so I can watch your games, you know? Yeah, sure. Uh, let me find your game. Nice. Uh, I've been losing recently though, so be really careful. Yeah, I, I, I watch it, I watch it, but yeah, it's like yeah. I, I have that problem too, so. Bad teammates, man. Bad teammates. Yeah. I know what you mean. I, I have one more question. The, how do you feel to to stay in like, top, top 10? Top um, 20, I mean. You want to know how I plan on staying in top 10 is that no top, top 20 top 20 oh i probably won't stay in top 20 but i will not queue as support so i can hold on to this mmr and then if i stay with this high support mmr my metal will stay rank 29 forever so no matter how much i screw over my solo queue i'll always have this nice support mmr that will uh keep my rank high so that's nice to have and it's good to spam pangolier or not um, I think oh, you can spam Pangler. Well, I, I will continue to spam Pangler. Whether it's good for my overall professional career, uh, probably not. But uh, it's fun. So And you can win games. So, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Uh, see you later, Ceci. Thanks for uh, yeah. all the support. Grats on winning the yeah, coaching. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay. I hope it helped. See you later. Yeah.